Chapter 721, Alpine for Reefather's Turn. There were no dragon claws, no dragon horns, and there also weren't any dragon scales. The body revealed by this divine light was an extremely huge tree root that was completely black as if it was made of metal. This huge tree route flying in the sky seemed to be a coiling dragon. Many guests were surprised to see that this black dragon was not a real dragon and instead only a huge root. Some inadvertently glanced over at the tree father. Their first thought was that the tree father was helping Li Kai. The alpine tree father was originally a pine tree, so now when a tree root turned into a dragon to attack the second ancestor, many people couldn't help but think that the tree father was protecting Li Kai. Of course, the tree father was being wrongfully suspected. No one knew that Li Kai was only using the death chapter to summon the most powerful dead creature from underground. However, this root truly had a big relation to the tree father. It was the main root that he slashed off. He had wanted to break away from the alpine grand vein, so he cut off his own root. Although the separated root had lost its life, it was already in the deepest parts of the mountain. When Li Kai came to the mountain, he had tried to search for it. At this time, he used the death chapter to summon it and turned it into a black dragon to injure the second ancestor. Keep in mind that this root was the strongest root that belonged to the tree father when he was at his peak. Despite being dead for countless years, it was still extremely strong after being summoned by the death chapter. Killing a virtuous paragon like the second ancestor was absolutely no problem. Pop. The ancestor was blown away by the root. One could hear the sounds of bones breaking and blood spurting. Even a paragon like the ancestor was no match for this root. Alpine tree father, what are you trying to do? Secretly attacking us like this. The wounded ancestor couldn't help but cry out. These words caused the tree father to blink. Then his gaze immediately turned cold. He told Li Kei, Young noble, leave this to me. Li Kai smiled and stomped down with his foot, causing the death chapter to emerge once more. The huge root had lost its source of power, so it fell back into the ground like a hidden dragon diving into water, quickly disappearing altogether. In the sky, the second ancestor heaved a sigh of relief after seeing the main root disappear into the ground. However, at this very moment, the tree father's palm reached for him. Just imagine how frightening the tree father's attack was. This encroaching palm was able to seal the nine heavens above and the scorching hell below. Even a paragon would be able to escape this palm. Alpine Tree Father, what are you trying to do? The ancestor was aghast at the sight of the approaching palm. He turned around to run while screaming. You should know that if I don't return, our Huang Fu sacred ancestor. However, before he could finish, a snapping sound resounded as if all the bones in his body were crushed. His pitiful cry bellowed across the entire plane. Before anyone could calm down, the blood-soaked second ancestor was thrown into the ground by the Tree Father. He struggled to get up. At this time, his appearance changed completely, with completely white hair. He seemed to have aged several thousand years in a split second. He trembled as he climbed up and was no longer able to stand straight. You, you crippled my cultivation. He let out a miserable scream. The Huangfu clan actually dares to come to my alpine mountain and act so presumptuously. The tree father glanced at the ancestor and slowly uttered, You think you can come here and posture with just your sacred ancestor? Even if he becomes a god monarch, I still wouldn't look at him straight. All of a sudden, the whole scene went silent. Many people were quivering on the inside. Everyone knew that the tree father was an apex existence since everyone said so, but for millions of years, very few people had seen him take action. Today, he finally attacked and destroyed a virtuous paragon's cultivation with one pump. How heaven-defying and powerful must that strike have been? Perhaps only immortal emperors could suppress an apex existence like him. No matter which sect or lineage they came from, the big shots present all felt a cold chill run down their spines. They swore to never act arrogantly at Alpine Mountain from now on. It was just as the tree father had said, he wouldn't care even if a god monarch was about to come, let alone an ordinary paragon. At this moment, the second ancestor squatted on the ground. It wasn't easy for him to reach the paragon level, but the tree father destroyed his cultivation so easily. His life was done for and was nearing its end. The tree father calmly declared, Go back and tell your sacred ancestor. From now on, if anyone else from your Huangfu clan dares to take another step into my alpine mountain, I will destroy your clan. Everyone held their breaths the moment this declaration came out. No one dared to make a single sound. They all knew that with his power, destroying the Huangfu clan was not difficult at all. Eventually, the ancestor was taken out of Alpine Mountain by its disciples. A virtuous paragon was ended in this fashion. Afterward, the Maple King quickly lightened the atmosphere and said to the guests, Come, let us continue. We wish for the demon forefather's life to be endless. The majority of the guests immediately raised their cups and gave their blessings to the tree father. The tree father smiled and returned the gesture with his own cup. The banquet continued with joyous laughter, creating a lively atmosphere. After the Huang Fu clan master met Fairy Ming, he didn't go back to the Huang Fu clan and had been waiting in the Alchemy Kingdom for any news from the Imperial family. However, days passed and the Imperial family didn't give any response. Fairy Ming also didn't send him any messages, causing him to be quite annoyed. By now, he realized that the Imperial family essentially didn't care for this matter. Although he didn't place high hopes in this endeavor, he was still quite displeased when the Imperial family didn't even bother showing that they cared. However, what could he do? It wasn't easy for him to meet the Imperial family. Father-in-law, there is no reason for you to be so anxious. While the clan master was anxiously pacing back and forth in his room, the words of a handsome young man could be heard. He had an oppressive aura and was seated in the room. This young man was the renowned world pillar monarch, Xian Miao. He was especially popular among the younger generation, gifted at politics, and was a capable regional monarch in the alchemy kingdom. Moreover, his personal cultivation was not shabby either, so he had quite an influence on his fellow monarchs. Most importantly, he came from the Xian clan, a separate division from the alchemy kingdom's main branch. 
In a very distant generation, their oldest ancestor used to have a high position in the imperial family. Later on, this ancestor separated from the imperial family to become a monarch in his own region and started his own branch. Although the world pillar monarch's position was great, it couldn't compare to the direct imperial family. However, their oldest ancestor was still left behind in the imperial family and buried underground. The Huangfu clan master stopped and softly sighed before speaking. How could I not be anxious? Hey or died a terrible death, and a little junior is now stepping over my Huangfu clan's head. Those who dare to oppose the alchemy kingdom will not have a good end. The world pillar monarch's eyes became fierce with a frightening murderous intent. The clan master deepened his voice. We will absolutely not forgive this human junior. No matter what, I will offer his head to Heor. At this time, a disciple came in and quickly said, My lord, the ancestor has arrived. Ancestor? Which ancestor? The clan master was slightly stunned after hearing this. He didn't know which ancestor had come into being. An aura as vast as an endless sea swept into the room. This invincible aura belonged to a god monarch and permeated the air. No one could pose this monstrous force. Neither the clan master nor the world pillar monarch could withstand this aura, immediately prostrating on the ground. Sacred ancestor. The clan master couldn't stop trembling and found it difficult to believe his own eyes. He stuttered, Ancestor, why you also came out? Yes. The recent arrival had cold expression and emitted an especially frightening aura. He said, the second ancestor's cultivation was ruined, and he doesn't have much time left. What? This news scared the soul out of the clan master. To him, this was no different from a thunderbolt sent down by the heavens. How could that be? The clan master was in dismay. Not long before this, their youngest ancestor had died in the giant bamboo country, and now, the second-ranked ancestor had also lost his cultivation. This was a great blow to their clan. It is the junior Li again. The arrival coldly said, the tree father backed him up, killed the other elders, and crippled the second ancestor's cultivation, Alpine tree father. The clan master couldn't help himself from falling down to the ground. He was unable to compose himself after hearing this news. In the stone medicine world, who didn't know about the Alpine tree father's might? As an apex existence, who didn't know how frightening he was? This was not just flattery. Even a behemoth like the alchemy kingdom had to be relatively respectful towards the tree father.